Yay. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right, it's yeah. Woo. Look at that. Never gets old. Look at that. <laughs> Never Look gets at that. Old. That jaded soy face. Look at my gummy bear shirt. And his gummy bear shirt. Ben's the only guy who shops in the autistic section of the golf store. <laughs> yeah, they just gave gave you that for free. <laughs> like getting shoes from the VA. Yeah, it's like when the retarded person's at like a like a derby or something. They just put a flag on him. Yeah, check let one, people two. know. It is a make a wish kind of collared shirt. It looks like you work at the children's hospital or something. Mm. Like you blow up balloons for dying kids. Yeah, yeah, I welcome them in when they land on the helicopter. You know? Yeah, come on. You know, one time I was I was uh, right next to the children's hospital where the helicopter lands, and there were these tourists there, and they were like, "Look, look at the helicopter! Yay!" And I was like, I, I literally ruined. I was like Debbie Downer. I was like, "Yeah, that means there's a dying kid on that." Mm. Yeah, they're cheering, and there's a kid whose head looks like a bread bowl. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> they go. We we thought they were shooting the Fast and the Furious Seven. Yeah, mm-hmm. we they, thought they were shooting Die Hard with a Vengeance. They, isn't that about family is. and loyalty? <laughs> right. No, they're like, if that kid survives, he'll be a Fast and Furious fan. But because his half of his brain has been removed. Whoa! Is there someone really famous in that helicopter? <laughs> is that is that Tom Cruise? Mm-mm. No, that's just a kid who that, was. That's a kid who was very friendly with a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> and it just tore his entire face off. Yeah. Mm. Hate hearing those stories, by the way. Fucking freaking me out. The pit My bull. mom dropped that on me all of a sudden. She goes, oh, by the way, you know somebody, uh, they had the dog for seven years and all of a sudden it attacked their... Uh, I told you that. That lady... The, no, this no, is a this totally is an, separate oh, no one? story. Yeah, yeah, What's man. with the seven-year-old dogs? They hit seven, these they pit hit, bulls. They turn into Ted Bundy. Yeah. It wasn't a pit bull. Just was a dog. Oh, just a dog? It was just like dog. Mm-hmm. Could have been in, it. Could, that's the thing. It's like Anton Chigurh, where it's he didn't have any description in the book. Right. When they just go, no, he's just like a normal dog. Like it could have been, could have been you, could have been me, right. could have been any dog on the block. It was all like of a sudden a, it just turns. Yeah. It was a chihuahua. Yeah, exactly. They were just huge pussies. <laughs> yeah. It just nibbled on them all night. <laughs> it was a preemie baby. <laughs> it was spanking the ass of a wiener dog, mm-hmm. and the wiener dog ripped its head off. <laughs> yeah, pit bulls can be terrifying. That's why all the women uh, in L.A. own one, because you can't open carry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pitbull is uh, lesbian open carry. Yeah. yeah, and they fuck them, too. You can tell they all fuck them. <laughs> they at least jerk them off. They yeah, jerk yeah, them Like, off. suck yeah. them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, well, that's Roger. He keeps me from getting raped, and then I, I suck him off every night. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> right now, we can make a decision. Do you guys want me to show you the girl that went viral for having sex with a Pitbull outside of a church two weeks ago? Or do you no- want me to not show that wow. to you and just describe this it? This is a choose-your-own-shitty adventure right now. <laughs> I, it's like Bandersnatch yeah, yeah, or it's whatever. Like, it's like I choose that, and then it's like you flip 70 pages. It's like the podcast went really downhill. <laughs> <laughs> and the Patreon drops four grand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It ends with us door dashing, grimace shakes. <laughs> I'd like to see on that. The floor. You no, want to see me, the girl? Show yeah. me the girl who fucked the dog. Let me see if I can find Kidding it. Kidding me? I live for this. Now, this was a white woman you're talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And uh, uh, is she fucked a pit bull? Yeah, yeah, outside of a church here. Let me, uh, I hope I can find this. Hold yeah. On, uh, outside of a church? What was that, like, a, was she flipping off the church the whole time, too? <laughs> was she listening to DMX? Yeah. I, I think she claimed it's, uh... Oh, wait, it is a black girl? No, 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 oh, okay. no, 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 I don't know who that is. I was about to say. No, that's the first time in history. Uh, da, da, da. She's with a guy named Pitbull. <laughs> And there's literally yeah, there's just more porn. porn. There's God great. damn there's it. Porn. We made it three minutes into the podcast. Yeah, Twitter's just porn now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good Lord. Oh, wait, wait, go up. Is that Chihuahua, a Muslim Chihuahua? Yeah, yeah that's awesome. It's a one percenter. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dr. Umar's dog. <laughs> okay, let me see. Girl. The dog's asking women how much they weigh when they call in. <laughs> the dog's like, drink more water. <laughs> Uh, da, da. Church dog sex girl returns. Yeah. Did she apologize playing a ukulele? Oh, found her. This is her. Because I don't know if she deleted. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I'm going to get better at this PC shit. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Friends used to download uh, LimeWire porn of like women getting fucked by dogs and stuff back in the day. Jesus. It was gross. Really disgusting Did they get stuff. stuck on the dick like I've always heard? Because a, a dog's dick has like a fist in the middle of it. Yeah, I don't remember that well, but I remember one just fucking the shit out of this lady in like a barn. 
like 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 doggy it was honestly like the dog was fucking her better than like i've ever seen a man in porn like it was really impressive <laughs> you wanted the fist bump i was like yo get it give it here pam yeah, yeah. dog's wearing a do-rag <laughs> fucking the shit out of her she goes the most annoying thing about getting out of jail is seeing how people are so judgmental Yes, I did it in a church, but some of you don't even go to church. Some of you are judging me, but God didn't judge me. At the end of the day, I'm thick, cute, and very smart. This is, and then she, uh, this is, she's flipping off the camera, right there. There's probably a shit in the toilet <laughs> that she's about to shove up her pussy. <laughs> yeah. Well, she didn't mention she fucked the dog. Somebody quote tweeted that and yeah, said, yeah, yeah. "By the way, she fucked, fucked the, the dog." dog. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why she was in jail. I think I saw this lady and somebody like uh, tweeted her like, you should get an OnlyFans. And she's like, I can't fuck dogs on OnlyFans. <laughs> like she's, a, she's like, she's, unfortunately, we don't live in a free society. Yeah. She's like weirdly like a freak. Like she's like the catch me outside girl, but she's strictly only into fucking dogs. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder well, if she actually deleted her account. Well, I mean, she probably killed herself. She'll be a rap superstar soon. Yeah. She'll be dancing with Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she'll be bad puppy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> spelled with two P's. Or four P's, I guess. I feel like Twitter used to be it used to be easier to search things on Twitter. I feel like that feature sucks ass now. Yeah, it's it's a terrible place. I think Google's mm-hmm. better at, at searching. It's yeah. a terrible Twitter. place. I'm on it all the time. <laughs> yeah, Elon's just announcing like, by the way, we've taken the search function, we've replaced it with pornography. Mm-hmm. So every day Elon's just like, What if we made a mug with FBI on it, but it meant female body inspector? <laughs> Right, uh, folks? Mm-hmm. And all these losers under it like, great, love your tweets, Elon. Love, love your tweets. You would have totally kicked Zuckerberg's yeah, ass. Yeah, thanks for this. We need a sketch show from you, Elon. I think it's actually badass that your mom said you couldn't fight Zuckerberg. Did you see that, by yeah, the way? Yeah, did his mom said don't do that? Zuckerberg challenged him to a fight. I saw it. Zuckerberg challenged him, and Elon's like, name the time and place. I'm like, okay, so that's not happening, because Elon declared that it would. Right. Mm-hmm. And then he said that his mom was like, you can't. I'm not allowing this to happen. And then like E. Miles Chong, people were like, badass to have a tight mom like that. Oh, God. I wish it happened and we could million dollar baby him. <laughs> Just throw it. <laughs> Quick, get the stools. <laughs> yeah, trying to get a robot to eat his tongue for him. <laughs> That's the, uh, so this is That's the. That's a handsome, ha- oh, what a good yeah. pup. That's a handsome young lad. I love how you can tell the dog has been getting cummed a lot. Yeah. yeah. He's got like that sly look to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, you know it. <laughs> She's honestly like Wood. Honestly Wood. She's like, yeah. what? What'd I do? She looks like the, she looks like, did you see um, uh, the HBO thing? Uh uh, but the girl, uh, reality. She looks like the reality. Oh, reality. She looks like that girl, Sydney, Sydney Sweeney, Sweeney, but without makeup. Right. Our huge tits. What was her name? And reality Bites? Or like Reality Jones? Reality or? Winner. <laughs> what a bull. Fucking, this, we live in such a weird world. Her name was Reality Winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She gave away like coordinates to like bomb sites or something. Yeah. Famous whistleblower, Vanderpump <laughs> rules. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. it would. We've we've arrested keeping up with the Kardashians for high treason <laughs> against the state. Yeah, but at least she got pay, uh, played by a big titted lady on HBO. Yeah, that's cool. That was cool. Would. <laughs> that dog is like a stud. I know. That's a cool dog that you see on Reddit and everyone's like, what a good chap. Found this found this little doggo on the train yeah. tracks last <laughs> night, and I fucked it. <laughs> Heckin' good pupperino. Look at its dickerini. Heckin' good pupperino. I love to make it cumarini. Let's have an upvote party. <laughs> <laughs> hell, I, hell, I'd fuck the dog. Oh, oh they fucked that dog, too. <laughs> Sheriff, they, they fucked fuck the, the dog. dog. <laughs> well, if it ain't a gangbang, it'll do it to the gangbang gizzard. <laughs> All right, we can't just do this again. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. It is fun to do, though. It's so fun. Really, literally, before this, I made you guys watch the behind the scenes of the making of No Country for Old Men, mm-hmm. just because we love the movie so much. Yeah, even sadder, you and me watched the whole making of No Country for Old Men, and then Devin walked in, and yeah, we, yeah, rewound we rewound it and it. watched the whole thing. We got to watch this, Devin. Coming like, over we rewinded here, like 25 minutes. We go, Devin, you know how there's five things we like anymore? <laughs> This is another one. <laughs> it's a yeah. constant cycle of yeah, the yeah. same five yeah. things. Mm. It's great, though. We spend 90% of our time talking about things we hate, and then we're like, let's let's pick one of the five things we don't hate and talk about how it rules. Yeah. Let's all watch a movie we could 
word for word write down the screenplay up. Like if mm-hmm. if it was lost tomorrow, we'd be like, no, 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 we we got it. We know every line, every scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it's good. We, we we can make it again. But for us, sure. us talking about it is just like the Chris Farley show sketch where we're just like, do you remember when he he bolt actions the doorknob? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. And I'm like, that was fucking sick. <laughs> remember. That was great. Anyway, what's some fag comic doing at an open mic dude, that we hate? Dude, we do suck because Devin walked in and we're like, dude, you got to see how the Coen brothers figured out how to put the handcuffs on the guy's neck. And then they're like, so what we did is we put a thing in front of his neck and so it wasn't the- actually choking him. And me and Jess are like, turn to Devin, we're like, pretty cool, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. I think pretty I, fucking cool, I think right? I did turn it down. I go, because if they choked him, he would die. Yeah. <laughs> so they had to... And it hurts his wrist. It would, hurt, it, it, it would They it, couldn't it, actually it, choke it, him to death for the movie, but so they used makeup. Yeah, Ben was like, Ben was like, his wrist could have broke. How'd they do it? <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> like, well, it's a multi-million dollar movie. Like, it's like CGI or something? What the hell? Yeah. We did have a minute conversation about it. He's like, dude, so that was Javier Bardem's real hair? I was like, yeah, they gave him a haircut. And he's like, dude, that fucking is crazy. <laughs> so they cut his hair for the movie. I, was, I think I literally said, I was like, dude, mind blown. <laughs> I thought that was a wig. Like, no, it was just, it's act- they cut his hair like that. He grew it out and then they cut it. Yeah. All shitty You're like, like what that. commitment? Unbelievable. Like crazy. Didn't you tell me that Javier Bardem, once he got his hair cut for No Country for Old Men, he said he wasn't going to get pussy for three months? Yeah, he goes, I'm not going to get the pussy for three months. <laughs> like he was just going to be around Marfa, just railing out trailer horse. Right. Could have been awesome. You have to fuck kids with that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Gracie, stop licking me, all right? Enough. She's doing... <laughs> Gracie was doing like, like on minute three of Lucky Man. We should fuck Ben's dogs. <laughs> Dude, Gracie's getting hyped about all the dog fucking right yeah, now. Yeah, it's getting her hot. It would be funny if while we're podcasting, if Gracie never ever like cleared the... You know when people are like very horny in the heat of the moment, they mm-hmm. clear a table, yeah, yeah, come out yeah, of yeah. an office, yeah. Like an expensive vase and a phone. Every movie where people are fucking, they have to destroy their apartment yeah. before mm-hmm. they do it. They're like, I gotta fucking... Fuck all my tax documents. <laughs> They're ripping throwing, their sink out yeah. off the wall throwing, like Johnny Cash. Yeah, throwing a W-9 <laughs> and receipts <laughs> on the ground. They're, They're like, ripping, I'll go to jail, fuck it. <laughs> Starting an oil fire. Yeah. Right. Ripping out their copper plumbing <laughs> yeah. from the floorboards. Yeah, it looks like the end of the conversation when he's just destroying his whole house <laughs> just so they can they can fuck a woman with their pants over their yeah, ass yeah. still yeah just the moment just you hear zip and then yeah. he goes yeah and she goes oh it's like they're yeah. already coming yeah a movie a movie sexy where they're like yeah this is how people have sex they pull their dick through their fly leave it button <laughs> and then the woman just kind of inches her dress up and then they just fuck yeah. fully clothed. and somehow it's in and it feels great and somehow right. it's awesome yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah she's she's not dry as shit she's immediately wet and then they're just going oh fuck <laughs> Oh, and, and they don't have to ask if they can come in the other person, even though they've never had sex before. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone's coming inside of each I other. I always wonder that. They, like, where never, the they never pull out. No one's ever pulling out. If I make a movie, I'm going to have the <laughs> guy ask like seven times. He's like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Are you sure you're like, you remember to take your birth control pill? Right. Like, you're sure. It's a whole, like, but it's like, it's still a Tony Scott, like wind blowing through the window, <laughs> yeah, candles. Yeah, yeah. And then he's just... It's just her going like, did you already come inside me? He's like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> he clearly did and didn't tell her and then yeah. c- tried to keep fucking to pretend. Yeah, but it shot like the taking of Pelham one, two, three. <laughs> was it giving you a headache? Yeah. I'm going to shoot a movie where the guy pulls out and he's just running, jack, still jacking off, like eh, eh, like kind of tottering over mm-hmm. to the bathroom and then just like over the toilet, <laughs> just jacking off, just shooting s- ropes into the toilet. You don't see enough realistic mm-hmm. coming Mm-mm. on screen. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Efficient coming, just right into the toilet bowl, move right you on. You never do. Day. We get everything right. We get the murders right, how people die. Everything's right except for the cum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true, and it's it's not right. And I'm going on strike. From uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna join the the protests, the WGA. Yeah, because they haven't done fucking right, and all the uh, no one does fucking right. No one portrays fucking right. No one does it in, in porn. That's not how fucking is. No one does it in cinema. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, where can we go to learn how sex actually is except for the privacy of our own bedroom? It's true, yeah. And then you look on Twitter, it's just people having sex with dogs. Mm-hmm. So the kids nowadays, they have no idea what's going on. No. They have no clue. They're bringing a girl home on a first date. They're either uh, you know, power fucking her and it's it's awful just because mm-hmm. they've watched too much porn or they're doing the thing where they're clear they're trying to be romantic. 
So they're like clearing the fucking and just like trying to fuck a woman like yeah. on their like kitchen counter. Oh, they're always doing the thing where they're always smushing them against a wall. Like mm-hmm. the first time, the first time you're having sex with a woman, you're like, she's okay getting her head bashed into this wall real yeah, quick. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Being like, I know what women want. I'm gonna invite her over. We're gonna wash my car. And I'm gonna soap her boobs up and make her boobs really soapy because I saw the Dukes of Hazard with Jessica Simpson. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna. Fu- I'm gonna invite her over and make her boobs soapy. Well, that's I why I want soapy boobs. Everyone's disappointed because we grow up on all these fantasies, and then you have sex, and you're like, "This sucks ass." Mm. <laughs> you come in like 13 yeah, yeah, seconds. Like she didn't yeah. even die at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Was, bitch, you were supposed to die. What the hell. I didn't even get to kill her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not supposed to get a cramp. I'm supposed to be in really good shape. Dude, she didn't even like <laughs> squirt and it like went all over the walls and shit. <laughs> we didn't have to flip the mattress after. Yeah. Because it was like we were fucking in a pond. I'm not supposed to be fucking and then my foot cramps in a weird way. So I have to like kind of turn on one hip and keep <laughs> fucking. But it's like kind of cutting off circulation mm-hmm. to her legs. So she's like complaining. Mm hmm. Yeah, Sideways had a good fucking uh, representation when Thomas Hayden Church is banging that Asian lady. Yeah, it just, just like, looked. It's just so sloppy yeah. and disgusting. He just collapsed on top. Yeah, the better one is when he's fucking the waitress at the end. The, the big fat lady. The yeah, fat, that's he's, great. He's on the fat lady, yeah, and he's yeah. just he's kind of doing that thing where you just grab the end of the bed and you're pulling yourself into the pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's because a, your hip flexors have given out. And like, that's exactly how you imagine those types of people <laughs> fucking, mm-hmm. like fat, like punker with punk reinforcement. Yeah, reinforcement, mm. pulling hair. Yeah, like you like that, you little piggy. <laughs> Listening to Metallica. Someone has to hold on to a, a thing that has been welded mm-hmm. at yeah. some point. Yeah, welders have been involved. Mm-hmm. But they're mostly yeah. doing the thing where they're sliding back and forth on their own like body fat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because right. like, yeah. have you ever sat on one of those medicine balls? Yeah. One of those, uh, what are they called? Uh, it's a it's a exercise ball. An exercise ball. Have you ever sat, ever sat on an exercise ball mm-hmm. and you go back and then forward and then back? That's what it's like to fuck a person that's that shape, I'm yeah. assuming. No. Also, m- movie scenes where like the woman has like a big ass and the guy's fucking her. Like mm-hmm. it's like the chances of the guy having like a great dick are like pretty low. So it's like the, a lot of the movies should be like the woman's like you were just in my cheeks. Like he didn't even the, right. The guy it just comes be, on her back. It should be the guy struggling to open her ass so he can get to her pussy. Yes, because he has a normal size. He dick. panics. <laughs> He panics. He goes, "I'm not really good at doggy. I'm more of like a missionary." Starts guy. fucking her with his middle finger. She's pretending. No, it's great. <laughs> He's doing this. Yeah, yeah. Grab, grabbing a remote, pretending it's his dick. Pulling out a cucumber. Ah. Uh, He's like, "You like that? That fucking big ass dick." He goes, dick? "They'll never catch me." Yeah, and then he pretends to he pretends to copy, pulls the cucumber around, and just squirts like hand sanitizer <laughs> on her back. He goes, "Ah, oh, fuck." He's like, "Why does it smell like a science lab?" On my back. There really uh, is no way guys like DJ Khaled have ever been inside a pussy. Because yeah. the kind of bitches he's having sex with, mm-hmm. their asses are the size of his house. DJ Khaled oh, looks yeah. at his wife's pussy and goes, and what is that? And what is this? Yeah. She's like, that's the clitoral hood. He goes, and what is that? That's the clit. He goes, all day, all night. They can't keep up with it. Have They're you fu- seen that video of him asking what, what his breakfast is? No. He's been filming a lot of videos again. I swear to God, he's autistic. He's been playing a lot of golf. He's I a saw, big golfer see, now. Yeah. But there's a video of him just at like a hotel, like getting a breakfast served to him, mm-hmm. and he goes, "And what is this?" And she's like, "That's toast." He goes, "And <laughs> he's what?" Like what, what dude, he's like, <laughs> some, he's severely mentally retarded. Can you pull that video up? He's probably he probably dates a ceramic lion. <laughs> I've seen his wife, and she dis- despises him. Oh yeah, like Melania. Yeah, because she'll be like, he'll be like, "Honey, did the Drake vocals come in?" And she's like covering her face. Is it mm-hmm. this, Jason? Yeah, that's the video right there. Oh shit! You know what? I need to plug this in real quick. We Hold the on. best. We the best. I plugged that for the live stream. Give me one second, folks. That's the best turkey bacon. <laughs> that's the best turkey. <laughs> what bacon. a retard. Okay, here we go. Oh, is it not? Hold on. I don't hear any volume. Uh, one second. That's just avocado toast. This is called what? Chicken sausage. This is called what? <laughs> and this is called what? <laughs> and what is this? Those are pickled banana peppers. And what is this? <laughs> and perhaps what is this? Water. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday brunch. <laughs> Sunday breakfast. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, he's, he's This is uh, called what? That's just holy a- shit. He's full simple, Jack. Like an Appalachian Persian. Good lord. <laughs> what is he? 
What is he? I don't know. He's one of whatever. He's some type of retarded brown. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so fucked. Yeah, he's like, and what is this? Like, that's your kid. <laughs> What is this? That's your self-respect. He goes, I don't know what that. That's not real. He's at a car dealership. He's like, what's this? Like, that's the wheel. Yeah, yeah. he really sucks ass. Yeah. He almost died at a C, by the way. Yeah, when he was on that Wave Runner jacuzzi yeah. thing. That was sick. Yeah, it was just late at night. He's like, I'm kind of scared. Ha ha. <laughs> He's like, I cannot see the shoreline anymore. He got lost in the Miami Harbor. Just at like... Yeah, he just kept riding his jet ski and he didn't know how to get home, and then brought, it just got dark. He just brought an air horn with him. <laughs> He's like, dur, 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 dur. Yeah. the Coast Guard's like, "Wait, are you making a and song?" What's mm-hmm. crazy is like he kept filming himself. He's in total dark. So he's riding a wave runner like 70 miles an hour in total darkness. Yeah. He's going, I'm scared. I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> mm-hmm. I could hit something at any moment. He goes, I don't I'm, know how to get home. I'm kind of thinking about how I wasted my whole life. <laughs> Being a laughing stock who <laughs> fell backwards into money. Mm-hmm. I never eat pussy. <laughs> and he said that too. He did. Yeah, yeah he, he said he never, eats, he never pussy. eats pussy. Yeah, yeah. The only thing he doesn't eat is pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, you could just, uh, if I was a woman, I would just tell him my pussy's bulgogi. He'd go right to town. <laughs> Dipping it in a little bit, mm-hmm. like a little bit of oil. He'd bring rice paper with him. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't kick, if you don't want to eat pussy, I don't, look, I didn't even, first of all, I get it. I didn't even shame the lady for having sex with a dog in church. No, I don't I shame. Do- I don't dogpile these pro people. Pro sex, pro mm-hmm. se- any sex. If you want to have sex pedophilia. with a dog in church, fuck everything. Go ahead. I don't care. Go, it's fine. Go fuck a cricket. <laughs> do whatever you want. If you no look, if I was at church and someone brought in a dog and started having sex with it. It would be fine. It would. It's fine. Who cares? Oh, Who yeah. cares if the dog comes on you? It's not as bad as what the priest has been up to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would. They probably were the girl in church. They're like, hey, get your fucking pussy off that dog and fuck this kid. Yeah. <laughs> the priests are like, hey, kids only. <laughs> Pu- you can fuck a puppy. That's it. <laughs> And we will move you around church to church mm-hmm. if you fuck that puppy. Just the pastor being like, Jesus Christ, I thought I was fucked up. <laughs> boy. Look at this bitch. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. He's inside a child. He's like, oh, boy. He's like, but I am doing mental. Taking a couple snapshots for later, if you know what I mean. So I can masturbate to the to the lady. To the lady. If I saw a lady fucking a dog, I'd probably jerk off to it later. I'll be honest. I'm not going to pretend I'm this pious guy. Sure, yeah. sure, 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 sure. There before the grace of God go yeah. I. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can just blur the dog out. You just imagine yourself I'm as sure a dog. That's all it is. You mm-hmm. go, I'm the dog. Yeah. I'm the dog. Don't discriminate. Remember those kids in school that used to be like, you watch porn with dicks in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's, yeah, like that makes yeah. them gay. They're like, I only watch lesbian porn. Yeah, meanwhile, you're jacking off next to them at a sleepover. Yes, exactly. They're like, dude, don't be gay. We're only going to watch lesbian He grabs porn. yours. He's like, well, you're not even coming yet. <laughs> dude, dude, Devin's gay. He won't even let me fucking jerk his dick off with his sock. <laughs> and, and then they show you some weird uh, porn where they're like, oh, you guys, you haven't seen the E.T. porn? Where the guy looks like E.T. Yeah. And all of his fingers are dildos. And they molest that girl. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen, and then they put that on, and that's somehow not gay. That's not. That's not to, to watch yeah. some freakishly weird home video mm-hmm. type of deal. Mm-hmm. I, I, they made me watch so many things like that. I watched an ET one. I watched the. Do you ever see the Bigfoot one? Who's the they in this? Who's they? My well, friend Nathan. Your, your, oh, un- okay. your uncles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Uncle Steve. Ben mm-hmm. was like the state. <laughs> I was court mandated. Mm. court mandated. You kept fucking so many dogs, you had to go through like a clockwork orange thing where they showed you people fucking different things until it was torturous. Uh, I gotta be honest, I've, I haven't made it through a lot of Stanley Kubrick's films, by the way, as much as I pretend to really? you know, be an intellectual. Like, Barry Lyndon was really good, and I was like, fuck, this is great. And then I like paused it, and I was like, an hour 40, and there was more, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. I get it. It's okay. Like it was late, and I was like, I'm not gonna finish it tomorrow. I think I got it. Great. It was great though. He's he's a brilliant filmmaker, but I understand being a little like, man, they're very rigid and not. He doesn't. You know, they're not. Uh, they're very mathematical. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not like super uh, uh, soulful. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. I made it like an hour through uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. I was that like, I got be, it. That movie can suck my ass. I don't. <laughs> okay. It's great. I've seen The Shining like a hundred times. Groundbreaking. Shining, I can always watch. Yeah. Shining's great. amazing. Full Metal Jacket's great. Full Metal Jacket's yeah, amazing. I've seen that a hundred times. So great. Clockwork yeah. Orange. I, 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 I make it through that one either. I thought I loved it when I was like a teenager because I was like, but yeah. Hell yeah. It was like the odd future of movies. Sure. It was Wolfgang. It was like, yeah. It was like, Golf yeah. Wang. Golf Wang. <laughs> yeah. And then I rewatched it like a year ago and I was like, eh. It's cool it and stay? crazy, but it's not that. I don't know. I didn't. It's just like, who wants to watch this too many times, mm-hmm. you know? I do love like the idea of like you know, listening to Singing in the Rain and raping like old rich people. <laughs> sure. And stuff. That's great. Of course. Yeah. Like, but it's, I don't know. Could have been better to me. Yeah. A little bit. If I'm going to watch something that's three hours, it kind of needs to be a little, I don't know, like Boogie Nights I can watch over and over. Magnolia I can watch over and over. If I'm going to watch a three-hour movie, mm-hmm. I mean, I can even watch uh, Bo is Afraid over and over just because it's so, it just goes so many different places. You know? Sure. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm the I'm the king of like, I'll throw a Malick movie on and then just watch TikTok on my phone. And then it, <laughs> the credits roll and I go, uh, I love art. You go, I did it. Another one to throw in my belt. Yeah. It, that really and is then, like the unification of opposites. You're watching like a Terrence Malick f- film, mm-hmm. and then you're watching people like crush, <laughs> crush their skulls and yeah. vices. On yeah, TikTok. it's like yeah, I'm putting on Tree of Life, and I'm on my phone like looking at like a retarded like a waterhead, and they're throwing rings on it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh look at that. There's some hand and some wheat. She's running her hand yeah, through yeah. wheat. I love her. Yeah. Anyway, let me see what this retarded. Anyway. Yeah, this I'm is gonna, the new trend here where the, they let, they feed their baby to a donkey, <laughs> and then the donkey eats it. I'm like, yeah. oh, right. he has a his dad beat him, so now he's a he has trauma and is he's grown up. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna watch this. Uh, this family fights to the death with fo- with forks. <laughs> and go what? Uh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, it's a. <laughs> He's looking at a, a tree and he's thinking about God. Yeah, that fucking that roots. Oh man, that girl's got that whole wiffle ball in her pussy. And then and then the credits the credits roll and I go I go, fucking God, I love art. I love art. So, and then I'll be at a party later. Yeah. And you talk about like I yeah. love I watched the whole thing. Somebody's talking about like some tar- Tarkovsky movie they just saw. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. I just saw Tree of Life, the part where he's looking at the tree. Fuck, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Know? It's like I'm next to the tree. Mm. I'll do know? the same thing. I'll be like, yeah, so Burt Kreischer and Jay Moore, they don't speak anymore. <laughs> and I, but I also watch Tree of Life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we should start, I think, editing films that have the uh, like the running, yeah, man, the, like the run little little running TikTok guy, under. Family Guy clips, and uh, the Subway Surfers mm. footage. Yeah. You I'm should gonna, be able to rent the movies on whatever streaming service you want and then like TikTok videos yeah. pop up next to it. No, yeah. we are finished. I mean, like it was becoming mainstream. I remember like, I think Pete Davidson had a whole segment on Weekend Update one time where he was like and people liked it and they were like, let's yeah, make a great point. Like, he's talking like shitting on the Irishman because he's like, dude, he's like, it's three hours long. OK, mm-hmm. like make the movie, you know, like 14 minutes, you know, that's the what like, a retard. And, and it was like kind of legitimate. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly how people think. Mm-hmm. Like they just want it to be quick. Well, I, I think of myself as an actual it's happening to me now. Like I was at my and I got a lot of free time now and I was like, you know, I'm going to rewatch. Oh brother, where art thou? And I like mm. I had to buy it on YouTube. Yeah, and I put it on, and then I made it to like the chain gang singing, and I was like, eh, "Let me just put the phone up real yeah. quick." <laughs> and then I made it through like four Family Guy clips. I'm like, "Let me just turn the movie <laughs> off." Actually, I don't have like the mental capacity to watch movies. It's anymore. hard to keep up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You it, go, yeah, I'm just gonna go masturbate back to back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> If I watch the movie for 45 minutes I'm like, and then I grab my phone, I'm like really proud of myself. I'm like, man, I'm like a Buddhist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've like achieved. I bought for Ben's birthday. It was just Ben's birthday. I bought him some books that I've read before. Like when before, you know, the the uh, technology ruined any semblance of happiness. I'll mm-hmm. ever have. And I was like, I was like rereading them and I made it to page 20. I go, God, I love books anyway. And I just chunked that. <laughs> 
Every time I try he reading, he threw the book, it out the window. Yeah, I threw it out the window. Like, like, I'm, like, I'm, not even, I'm not even going to give it to Ben anymore. Let me see what the, the retail did back up to you. You put it in one of those book bins in your neighborhood, like, pass it on. <laughs> like, I've already learned enough. Uh, you literally, I can only watch movies on TikTok where it's it's cut up into 40 clips from the movie. Mm. Yeah. And I like, I'm just like, I, I stumble on one and I go to the account. I'm like, and I like 30 minutes later, I'm like, I fucking love Limitless. That was a great film. That's why you guys got to get ironically into literature. Where I'm like reading a Herman Melville book, and I'm like, man, this is so, it, it's so fucking bad. This sucks. So he's just writing yeah. about whales, and he was crazy. I'm like, mm-hmm. what a fucking retard. And I'm yeah. flipping the pages. I'm like, beautiful prose, but what a what a goddamn retard. You're good at that. I don't know. I read like a page of a book, and I'm like, I'm like, I close it, and I look at the back, <laughs> the reviews. I feel all proud of myself. I'm like, man, look at me reading a book. Yeah. Like I can't. You just start walking. I with just it. I walk around with it under my under my <laughs> armpit, like, like ah. you're a schoolboy. Yeah, I yeah. put a scarf on. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know. I right. get so bored. You're and then if I stop reading it and come back to it three days later, I'm like, what am I supposed to remember this shit? <laughs> and I throw the book. Mm. Yeah. Anytime I've I've been reading a book, I'm like, I can't wait to tell people I read this later. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and, the then whole you, time. and then you yeah. get to the point where you're like, Well, if the book's three hundred pages, I read one hundred. That's basically reading mm. the book. Exactly. And then I Google the plot and I'm like, That's enough. I can fucking See, but can I explain very quickly what it is? Sure. Like you guys love the retards on TikTok as we all do. Uh huh. I don't no, not really. I didn't didn't study them as much until I met you. Well, what are you doing on your phone then? Me, me and him watching, look at I watch body cam footage in mm-hmm. Wisconsin a lot because mm. that's where they all are. Everyone's fucking crazy in Wisconsin for some reason. I yeah. watch like murder documentaries, true crime shit. Devin's on his phone turning into taxi driver. Yeah, forever. I watch uh, a lot of yeah. I watch a lot of like uh, these guys that just make these comedy documentaries. You know, like that. Like, you know, too lazy to try, if you will. <laughs> sure. Be- beige <laughs> oh, frequency. I'm very well you know, aware the, 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 the Werner Herzogs of the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're watching the worms turn for the the worm has turned the Jim Norton like <laughs> epic, yeah. like the fucking the apocalypse. <laughs> Now of Jim Norton's yeah. life, you're nine hours into an Anthony Camilla documentary. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. Investigating the Anthony Camilla brother Wheeze mm. controversy. Okay, I won't even. I don't even know if that's a real thing. But right. I, I heard. Oh the, no, he has a controversy with his brother. Documentary with his brother, that I yeah, watched. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brother Joe. Yeah, his, his biker brother Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come down to F. H. Riley's. So Devin's on his phone turning it into taxi driver. I'm trying to turn my brain mm. into Candy Crush. Like it doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying I to like erase saying. my consciousness. Like last night I watched The Devil in a Blue Dress. I've already seen it. Great fucking movie. But I Is paused the Denzel it. Washington yeah, movie? Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like, um, it's basically like Chinatown, like with black people. Right. Spike Lee. Spike. Uh, no, no, no. Um, somebody else. Curtis. I'm thinking of Mo Better Blues. Yeah, that's Mo Better Blues. My mm. apologies. Um, had a big black night last night. I watched Crooklyn <laughs> and then Devil in a Blue Dress. It was great. But I paused it Ooh. four times to watch in like 20 minute insane things on my phone. Like mm-hmm. crazy lady in a, in a DUI traffic stop. <laughs> like, okay, I, I'm, I'm dying. But we're we're dying. It's I'm like saying. giving myself carbon monoxide. That's what I'm saying. Is to finish a movie, you almost have to treat a movie like it's a football game. Like you watch it in quarters. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need a timeout to get fucking serotonin back into your Just head. Just so antsy all the time. Mm-hmm. You know? But you guys, you're also obsessed with retards because you want to watch a crazy lady who's smoking crack and her tits are flying out and she's getting oh, run that. over with a car. I love it. Mm-hmm. So you're fascinated with retards. I love retards. that shit. I like, love ghetto deer. This is what I'm saying. You're not what is watching ghetto deer? ghetto deer are those women you see. <laughs> in bad neighborhoods that have like 80 pairs of tits and their shirts off and they're just like kicking them around in right. the street and they're, screaming. They're in a car's headlights just staring. Yeah, they're just in front of cars <laughs> stopping traffic. Like, like there's oh, the last power they have is to stop traffic. They're like, you ain't going to work. <laughs> you can't hit me. Mm-hmm. They look like a strange. They're speaking mythical. in tongues. Yeah. They, yeah, they they look like a skinwalker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, they look like they're out of like the gods must be crazy. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're paws in high beams, and then you honk their horn, and they go, <laughs> and then they just, like, yeah. They get on all fours. Yeah, like, they <laughs> jump eight feet in the air. I love drug addicts and meth heads and crack I would love heads to go and... so crazy, I turn into something from cryptozoology. Yeah. Like, they go, like, Yo, oh, you, what happened to Ben? You go, oh, B- Ben, you didn't hear? He's the Mothman now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's a local legend. Yeah, so he's ben... the Mothman. <laughs> yeah. What happened to your co-host? So he's been spotted in Bolivia <laughs> by jungle tribesmen. Yeah. And it's just bit. It's they bit. say he only comes out at night. Yeah, it's bit. You see, like really rough footage of Ben in the tall grass. 
trying to trying to message Devin the selfie slut yeah. on his phone. <laughs> like a night walker. Yeah. <laughs> One of those guys in Hawaii that people think they see. Uh oh uh, shit. But so what I'm trying to say is here's how you cure because you're obsessed with the retards. You're obsessed with the retards, as am I. Mm-hmm. Who's more obsessed with the retards? Nobody. Than me, but, literally nobody than you. But I like. I want to get past that wall of self. Now here's the problem. Yeah. Uh, who wants to watch an interview or read a guy? Read about a guy who's really smart, or like watch an interview about Stephen Hawking or it's something over. like that. Yeah, I don't care. It's teenage. Shit. I'm obsessed with retards, and but I still am lonely, so I want to get past that wall of self. So then I read a 500 page book about a retarded guy who was obsessed with a whale. You right. see what I mean? So now I'm getting past that wall of self. I'm curing my loneliness, and I'm stepping inside of the uh, the body of someone who's crazy and retarded, mm-hmm. and, and like a monster. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the book is actually the thing you're looking for. Does that mean? And then there's a there's a bigger payoff at the end. There's a bigger dopamine release, which Andrew Huberman said is good because then you stop uh, doing all the other stuff that's bad. Actually, yeah, I, mean, so, I, don't know. I, I Every time I've read a book, it's just to be like to stunt on people mm-hmm. and feel good about myself. I, I, I don't retain information, Ben. I don't know how to how else to say it. I mm. read a book once every two years. So when somebody goes, "What's the last book you read?" I don't have to go like C <laughs> spot run. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> It's not something from grade school. Yeah. The last time I read a full book, I was coming down off Adderall, and yeah. I, it just happened to ha- I happened to open it luckily, and I read the whole thing, mm. and I haven't done that yeah. since. Like you dropped it, it fell open. And you're like, oh shit! And yeah, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> like I, I hate the book Jace gave me now because I'm reading a Gilead, who my friend Aaron Gwynn sent me for my birthday too. Yeah, as did Jace. It was very funny. I gave Ben. I go, this is the mo- my most cherished book. I love this book, and I gave it to him, and then. Ten minutes later, he opened a package from Aaron Gwynn, and it was the same book. <laughs> and I was like, all right, Aaron, stay out of my brother's life. <laughs> stay in your lane, bitch. Stay in your lane, Aaron. So uh, I've been reading. I was like, fuck. I'll try to read Gilead. And I, right now, I'm fighting the reserve, uh, urge to stop reading it because it's so sweet. It's like this guy writing a letter because he's dying, and he's like, he's leaving notes about life to his uh, his child and stuff, mm-hmm. like to read in the future and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, it's so sweet and so thoughtful. I'm like, where's the guy having sex with watermelons or dead bodies? Where's the guy running around crazy on drugs, losing his life? Where's the bloodshed? Right. It's so sweet and lovely, but, and then I look, it's a Pulitzer Prize winner. That's the stuff people want to read. They want yeah. to read a beautiful thing about a mother and a, and a daughter and a sweet little sweet little baby, mm-hmm. you know, and it's all mm-hmm. goo goo gaga and there's rainbows and sunshine and stuff. Please tell me something happens later in the book that's fucked. Yeah, the, the dad fucks the kid. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Once I'm you, in for the long haul. Once then. you make it to page three, and he's like, by the way, this whole time I've been fucking the <laughs> shit out of this kid. <laughs> No, it's just I was trying to get you, I was trying to get you to read a book written by a woman. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to break a little bit That's of autism. That's why I don't like. It. Yeah, I was trying to get yeah. a little bit of autism broken out of your head. Because when I when I did read a lot, that was what uh, I, I loved reading to be like, oh, here's what it's like to be a completely different person person yeah, than yeah. I am. Right, you know? right. Like I read like Life of Pi, and I'm like, oh, this is what it's like to be like a, a like an Indian person. Sure. Or like, like brief wondrous life of Oscar Wow. I'm like, here's nope. what it's like to be Puerto Rican and like, you know, yeah, Minnesota, I don't know. California. I don't think I'm dumb, but it's not, when I read, I'm just like, just fucking say it. <laughs> Enough of the song and dance here with mm. your writing. You got to write. It's mm-hmm. a big smoke screen so you could be Zach Smart. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. Yeah, Devin's like, if I want to learn, learn what it's like to be other people, I'll watch Soft White Underbelly. Exactly. That's how I do There's it. Nothing, literally no book better but, than The Whitakers. <laughs> that is so There's good. There's nothing better than, I love than the Whitakers. Ray. That guy is outside. Just, woo, woo, woo. Uh-huh. Who's more interesting than I Ray know. Whitaker? For anyone that doesn't know, The Whitakers is about a uh, family, fourth, fifth, fourth generation incest. So they've been having incest for four or five generations, I believe, in the hills of Virginia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a guy figures out the hole they live in, and he and he goes and visits them. The guy from Soft White Underbelly. Yeah. yeah. And he just sticks a camera in their face. And some of them learned how to speak from being around dogs. So they, they bark like... Mm-hmm. Uh, they bark like... Uh, mm-hmm. They bark like pit bulls and mm-hmm. stuff. They don't know they're, how to they're speak. They're extremely retarded. Their eyes are like made out of toes and shit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's stunning. It's mm-hmm. stunning. Uh, you you know you hear about people like that in Appalachia. Yeah, yeah. But then are, you see it that are eating like wow. bird seed and like clucking like chickens. It's absolutely mm. it's a, it's incredible. Mm. Oh, and by the way, they you would think they're like drinking tons of moonshine and like doing heroin and stuff. 
it, they're not. He keeps zooming in on the trash in there. They just love soda. Yeah. Yeah. They're they, so they gravitate. They're so retarded. If they drank alcohol, it would kill them. Like they need if they had one they one brain. if they had one less brain cell, yeah. their bodies would go offline. <laughs> Their, their brains are like a power grid that was built in the 40s and it can't handle <laughs> yeah. like modern like fucking Wi-Fi and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just held together by like just strings mm. and rubber bands. Yeah. yeah. If they bathe themselves, their skin would just peel off and they bleed out. <laughs> oh, they're not allowed to take showers? They don't yeah. do it. They can't do anything. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. they can stand up. They're held together by their own stains, mm-hmm. really. Yeah, yeah, someone tried to give them soap once and it killed yeah, they killed mm-hmm. one of them. Mm-hmm. They died immediately because they washed their hands. Yeah, they're, they're all like, "We gotta kill Dial. <laughs> Who's Dial? Like, well, you'll, you'll find out." Yeah. <laughs> Irish, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Irish Spring's been a menace to this family. <laughs> they're they like got soap and they're like scrubbing their head and and then they're just ripping off like skull and like brain and yeah. shit. Mm. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I, I really hope. Do you think the, any of those people are like fucking? Do you think they like re, they're up to date on like what's going no, on in the world and no. stuff? Like they get a newspaper, or they don't. No. So they live like the like the ancient Mayans. Or, like it's just the sun goes up and down. Yeah, it's and, actually beautiful. Yeah, it's like how we would live if we didn't have the news. You would just all you would focus on is what you have. You wouldn't know what's going on. The 20 miles away. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't even know what's going on 20 miles away, probably. Mm-hmm. You want to know any... Like, they don't know what's going on that's not in front of their eyes. Mm-hmm. And, like, barely that. It's like fish that live in an aquarium. Mm-hmm. Which is hilarious, because we're always told to, like, live in the moment, try and live in the moment, which is, like, what dogs do. Mm-hmm. And the Whitakers. Right. <laughs> but they we, are we all are... Str- of, it's the Western idea of a monk is turning into a Whitaker. Yeah. Yeah. They're They're transcending the flesh their pure consciousness Mm -hmm. they don't even care about learning language or money or economic systems they just sit in fields and bark like dogs they howl at the moon they lick themselves maybe that's what happens when you know it all (laughs) maybe you regress Mm -hmm. maybe ray whitaker figured it all out and they just started barking like a fucking dog well that's what i've always thought about maybe people who go supposedly insane and start having like weird schizophrenic long posts on the internet about time travel and the future and I go well, maybe this guy actually isn't insane he's the only one who who can see the mm-hmm. see the code so to speak isn't all the writers and philosophers you're obsessed with don't they all die like shitting in their hand and drawing on walls and stuff they turn into Appalachian oftentimes people. yeah Smartest guys alive. They all turn into freaks. Smoking mm. crack. They live underground. Smo- yeah. They're, they're building bombs. Just fucking pouring soup in their assholes. Mm. <laughs> it's just like, like this, and they put a spoon in it. And they're like the smartest guy ever, somehow. Yeah, they're so smart that they... I think the problem is they looked at reality as it is, and they're like, well, I have to go insane mm-hmm. because life is insane. Because you could outthink... You could think your way out of life because mm-hmm. there is... We don't know. You truly can. I've, the, I've done it a couple of times yeah. myself. Where you're at like, the grocery store, and you're like, this is shipped from like a farm over here, and I'm just like... Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. basically an it's constant. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and then it goes in a landfill, yep. and it's dumped somewhere, <laughs> and like this whole thing is crumbling. Yeah, it could drive you crazy. Yeah. yeah. You see the planes, you go, fuck, and that's in the ozone. And right, shit. and then that's why we like reality yeah. TV makes you feel so comforted. You're just like, oh, just I need to be dumb. Right. Shut up, everyone, shut up. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm doing with the TikTok because if you're if yeah. you're smart and you investigate stuff, you're just like, all of a sudden you're like relieving a sprouts because you started crying out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're like, well, that's clearly also wrong, you know? Right. That I can't live in just this basic society like that. Yeah, so. you can live in the moment. You what you got to do. I do this all the time. I walk. I just walk in circles around my pool. Like and I just think and I just keep walking in mm-hmm. circles. Well, that's because you're half Japanese, so <laughs> yeah, your piece your peace of mind is to not stop moving like a shark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ben's Ben's brain has gills on it. Yep, and if it doesn't feel the wind move uh, past it, a guy who walks twenty miles a day but still has shit posture mm-hmm. and no muscles in his legs, I yeah. might be half Japanese. Come to think of oh, it, oh, you yeah. are, dude. You work out like SpongeBob, <laughs> 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 lifting yeah. teddy bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just had a grimace shake. Gotta work this off. Yeah. Katie, give me those pillows. God damn you. I had a grimace shake last <laughs> night and a Big Mac. I had a grimace birthday meal from McDonald's. Limited time only. Mm. I had the grimace shake, folks. 
Someone paid me on the live stream, which, by the way, uh, live streams every which Wednesday. Which was very funny to me. You're like, on the Clips channel. You're like, if somebody gives me $30, I'll get a Grimm. I'm like, that's the cost it got to get the Grimace shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all a convoluted way for you to eat the Grimace shit. That's the health care cost. Yeah. <laughs> if you were an honest man, you would go down to the to the McDonald's and get a Grimace shake yourself. Yeah. And go, I'm doing but this to I, myself. I woke up not bloated, and I, I felt good because I did, which Devin shits on me for. I do In the other room, you guys see there's an assault bike. And I do the assault bike. It's a full body workout. Yeah. It's, it's unlimited it is, resistance. An assault bike like you're in the Marines yeah, or is, something. Is it a salt bike or salt? <laughs> it's an ass, assault? It's a sugar bike. <laughs> so what is it? It's an assault bike. Like assault. Uh, oh, assault at you. It, yeah, yeah, assault oh, okay. bike. So it's a full body workout and there's a fan in it. So the faster you go, the more it resists. So there's limited, uh, there's unlimited uh, you know, potential right. in terms of. Uh, mm-hmm. You know what can be real. It's what my grandma used to work out on no. in front of Lifetime. No, because it's it's intermittent. So I, I sprint for thirty seconds and I rest for ninety, and I do yeah. that eight you're, times. You're working out in a ceiling fan, basically. That's all right. All right. It's, I, I'll, yeah. I'll, you're I, working out I, in like a Leonardo da Vinci machine. Yeah, like yeah. it should be a big <laughs> spindly top helicopter that goes up in the air. I burn. Is this a lot? I burn like 110 calories every time I do this. Oh, uh, it's not not really a lot, but you know it is calories. I think so. I, when I go to the gym, I burn like 350 on the stair thing. The stairmaster, just yeah. doing that. Yeah, I do 100 flights, and then God, I that's damn. great. And then I lift a little bit, but that's I, great. I, the lifting is just a night. I mean, the, the weights are so heavy. Yeah, how uh, do people do lift, that? Lifting is a real lifting burden. Lifting sucks ass, yeah. and I don't want to do it because I don't want to be associated with those other guys that are like having mm. orgasms the entire time. Like you called me today when I was at the gym, mm-hmm. and I couldn't because I was out of breath, and also there was a guy behind me just like. <laughs> Like doing the what is it called? The pregnancy you, push. Bench, you bench need to be press. spotted, yeah, because you're gay. Mm. You have to have a guy's dick over your face. What are you saying? Get it, get it. Come on, yeah, come on. That's right. Push, push. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we're strong enough to defeat AR-15s. <laughs> no, you're not. I'll shoot you. <laughs> Who cares? I'll buff you. I'll shoot you right in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill yeah. you. You lean over. I'll kill you. It doesn't matter how much you bet. I'll fucking kill you. I I'll follow you home. I should have some Joker makeup. Like. Yeah. A guy a guy about to put 350 up and you just shoot him in the kneecap. Like, oh. It comes down and cuts uh, his head off. Oh, big like, tough guy. Oh, yeah. a tough guy. You going to get your protein after this? Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, those are my favorite guys who turn uh, lifting into like uh, reasons to live. You know, mm-hmm. guys who try to convince themselves they don't work in like middle management, right? Guys who like the, I so. come in here every morning and I give myself the energy, and that's the same thing I bring to life when I'm pushing cars at Enterprise. <laughs> it's like, dog, it's all. <laughs> I appreciate you because you put yourself on an yeah. hamster treadmill that'll keep the gun out of your mouth, but yeah. like. <laughs> This motivational shit. It's always the thing with the they Rogan like stuff. They're like Xerxes now. I know. It's like yeah. the Rogan stuff. I know yeah. I shouldn't talk because I'm like not in shape, but it's like the the like the like Rogan things of like, dude, he ran 100 miles. It's like, who cares? Yeah, who gives a shit? He just didn't stop running. Like David Goggins. You're, it's like if Kobe had no goal. I don't right. get it. Like, so you're waking up at 4 a.m. training all day, pissing blood. For, <laughs> for what? Yeah. Why, are you, are you going to win a championship? Mm-hmm. What are you doing, psycho? You're mentally ill. Running around fucking Silmar for eighteen hours a night. Mm-hmm. I'm more impressed with people being like slobs. Yeah, Me too. I, I'm gonna be the David Goggins of being a slob. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sitting there and the people can't. They're like, dude, how do you do it? You yeah, look dude. fucking disgusting. It's all a crapshoot because there's people that are slobs their whole lives. They live till eighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He won oxygen machines. He won. Never Twinkies. had to do the David Goggins mm-hmm. bullshit. Didn't ever have to sweat like you. His legs didn't hurt. Yeah. I mean, he had problems, but the healthcare, that's what the healthcare system is for, baby. <laughs> that's what the pills are for. Fucking come on. Right. He had problems, but he smoked. All, the, all he did all day was smoke, mm-hmm. and then he had a little wheelchair that like rolled him exactly. around. Exactly. Yeah. It's the life. Mm-hmm. He's. I mean, he's at the, at the end of the day, because it's like, they're like, Goggins ran 200 miles, and it's like, okay, and then what? Right. It's like, oh, he was well, muscles hurt all the time. There was a guy in my neighborhood, he was like famous, he was in the paper, he was a doctor, he had a heart attack, so he devoted his life to to, to walking constantly. He was all he was called the Walker mm-hmm. in Silver Lake. He would walk around the lake. You could see him everywhere. Walk everywhere. Died of a heart attack. Still. Yeah. Jim yeah, Fix. Like, like fucking fifty something, fifty five. Yeah, I'm like, wow. Damn, he had a bad ticker. So I'm like, he wasted all his time being a fucking walking fag. <laughs> yeah. Could have been at home, fucking living it up, yeah. eating Chinese food. It's all a crapshoot, yeah. baby. You, you could get shot at the gym. 
by me. <laughs> That's really actually why you just have to learn how to lower cortisol. Yeah, stre- yeah. lower they do, your stress. They do call it the silent Stress killing. is everything. Meditate yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I always hear they're like, they're like, by the way, you know, cortisol, that's actually, that'll kill you the quickest. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm fucked. Though. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm already like, like, no matter what I do, I'm I'm, I'm having a stroke at 38. Because mm. I've been redlining life since I've been five years old. <laughs> I've had the I've had the anxiety of like a Wolf of Wall Street guy at like four, so I'm I'm already fucked, <laughs> dude. My fucking yeah, yeah, the pathways in my brain look like condemned subway like stations. Yeah, like those subways where it's like, oh, you are we've never had a train go down here for thirty years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> End up in like a lost world mm-hmm. or something. No, I mean yeah. Once once I was like I realized when I was. At some point, that I was like, your your brain is like everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's it, I don't know. I just don't trust enough stuff. I think it's all random. I, think I just don't. Completely I random. don't get respecting people for being jacked. Like, yeah, I get that they did all the work, but it's like, okay, well, like if I did that, I'd also like look like that. Cool. I just didn't. Right. You know? Yeah. Like when Robert Kennedy, when there was those those videos of him shirtless, like bench pressing, yes. there was like so many Cernovich guys being like. That's Sick. the fucking president we want. It's like dude. gross. He looks like a chicken breast at a low quality <laughs> grocery store. He looks like you tried to cook chicken in the microwave. Yeah, dude. like without it's seasoning. All sunburned and yeah. shit. It, also benching like one hundred and fifteen pounds yeah. for like eight reps. Yeah. I mean, whatever. But yeah, he obviously dropped a weight in his throat at some point. <laughs> It'd ruin your political chances. Hey everybody, you're now listening to the new single by professional rock and roll band Spooky Mansion. A professional ma- a professional band that gets paid money to play rock and roll professionally across the United States. Uh, they're a big fan of our podcast. They're actually good friends with Devin. Not, I've hung out with them a few times. It's they're, your best friend. My best fucking friend. They're great people and they're really talented and uh, very funny. I uh, got really drunk with uh, Grayson, the lead singer. It is van. They're like legit. They tour in a van and like they're like great. We support them. It sounds like you have really a problem, good. but good for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Devin's a degenerate. He met him in a bar, you know, because he's a. Devin goes great guy. Uh, you know, I, I got drunk in the trunk of his car. Right. We killed a few vagrants together, but they still rock out. Right. Devin drinks like a gumshoe and he saw him in a bar. <laughs> But they're actually like a legitimate band. Like they make all their money from yep. doing music. If you go to Spotify, I looked up their Spotify because you know people pay us for ads, and I assume like oh, it'll probably be like f- fourteen lessons or something like that. They have like one song that has like ten million like yeah. downloads oh, wow. on no, Spotify. They're big, they're big time. I like listen to. Can yeah. we have a can we have an ad in one of their songs? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah we'll probably have to pay them ten thousand yeah. dollars to do that. Lead one of the songs in with us just sounding brutally retarded. Yeah, mm-hmm. put it through like a voice smell filter so it sounds like a fucking Kendrick album yeah um, but you can catch them at the UMS festival in Denver July 29th and in San Francisco at the independent August 31st uh, go Ooh. check out their stuff on Spotify Ooh. as well and uh, like I said legitimately just a fan of the podcast wanted to buy an ad and uh, we thank you spooky mansion yeah. and Grayson check out spooky mansion bye bye, bye. Hey guys, uh, we got another uh, ad from a fan here. This is for the Randy Savagery Show. Um, that's R A N D Y S A V A G E R Y Show mm-hmm. on YouTube. Uh, they can be found on all platforms. Uh, they're a fan of the show. They reached out to us, and I watched some of their stuff. It's actually like a pretty funny show. Um, it looks like a punk rock Rory and Mal. <laughs> it does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looks Hell like yeah. Ben Foster and uh, Alpha Dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you like our show, you know, you've probably never seen a black person talk before, so <laughs> go check out Randy Savage's <laughs> show. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But uh, Randy wanted us to read some words, so uh, he says, stand-up comedy is supposed to remain... Uh, Full of jokes and punchlines mixed with true scenarios while utilizing a funny, hopefully unique cadence. And it's not supposed to be just a big, fat camp, 1995 heavyweights candy bar hiding in your rolls, dreadlocks having, make the same, Tony, your shirt looks like it imploded at the bottom of the ocean inside your gay, open ass type jokes. Then he says, juice crowd laughs. Are you sick, bored, and tired of listening to the same old repurposed Twitter jokes? Then go ahead and uh, look up, uh, <laughs> go ahead and tool up. He's t- typing black and it's hard for me to read. <laughs> then go ahead and tool up blood and sub to the Randy Savagery Show Patreon. 
and the Randy Savagery show on H- on uh, YouTube. I almost said HBO. <laughs> the Randy Savagery show is a comedic, hilarious podcast consistently attacking all sides of society and social conglomerates with funny ass shit. Uh, the Randy Savagery show can be found on all platforms. Go check them out. There's their YouTube right there. Yeah. And go to their Patreon as well. On God. On God. Check them out. Randy Savagery show. Randy Savagery At show. At Randy Savagery comedy podcast. Um, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, let's talk about sex. Yay. Ooh, let's ooh, talk ooh, about ooh, sex, ooh. baby. Um, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Talking sexually, you were ready to go. Woo. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anywhere, anytime, day or night. So you can go ahead, you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. BlueChew tablets are made in the U.S. and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. With BlueChew, men everywhere are, decided, are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived. And when I say postman, I'm not talking about Carl Malone, who raped a 13-year-old girl and got no, her pregnant. No. I'm talking about your mailman, who brings you dick pills so your dick Ooh. can get hard, and then you can fuck your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, or husband. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code LEMON, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. Now back to the show. I don't know. I just, I just thought of something, by the way. Yeah. Why is it there a trend now? Where you know Wim Hof breathing is yeah popular. I actually I actually do it every morning yeah yeah it rocks mm-hmm. it it kicks out have it's you really done Wim good Hof before? it's really no, good you for guys anxiety. you guys have been mentioning it for like seven months I don't know <laughs> it, it makes you feel <laughs> I, I so looked high. into it once mm-hmm. it's crazy it's not a thing where like some people think meditating is fake this is a real like physical uh, like where your all the oxygen uh, goes into your bloodstream there's no more carbon dioxide sorry I'm like. Yeah, you get, you get all the carbon dioxide silent. out of your body you're fully oxygenated yeah. and you hold your breath as long as you can and it simulates like a panic attack you, yeah. and okay. you feel crazy high you feel fucking it's wild mm-hmm. how high you feel but it's like doing the knockout game to yourself every morning okay yeah. interesting I don't but it's good for you I feel oh, like okay. the next big thing and mark my words on this people might be walking around with oxygen machines that don't need them because they claim it helps their depression. Probably. Like yeah. with the t- the, the thing up the nose with the yeah. oxygen tank and stuff. There'll be yeah. like the hottest girl you've ever seen mm. with an oxygen tank on. Mm. Yeah. She's like, I'm, I'm bipolar or whatever. And it's because yeah. the class. It's like, the- honey, just be hot and get fucked. Yeah. Like, you don't have to I know. You call create this. I go, hot, I go, honey, honey sugar tits. <laughs> just be hot and get fucked. You don't have to create this whole Brooklyn. Oh, I got mental illness. Uh-huh. M- mental illness is on top. Yeah. You don't need it. Honey, you're a perfect, ch- perfect chicken cutlet. You don't need any seasoning. Exactly. On top. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Take off the blanket. Get out of the FDR <laughs> chair and fucking just start fucking everyone in Brooklyn. One, okay <laughs> enough of your communist horse shit people start saying it's because of the climate they need to be on an oxygen if machine. you think about all this it's true if you refuse wow. to none of it is real that's the secret mm-hmm. that's that book the secret that yeah. uh, gay guys read and thought was cool hmm no that's like if you think about it it'll happen oh it i'm is? saying ignore it i'm saying ignore the poor kids Ignore the starving people. Mm. Ignore and the then it is, doesn't exist. Doesn't your only yeah. reality is what you believe in? There was a thing that kind of blew my mind. Was there's that that Harvard study where they studied like they started this in the 40s and they studied like 5,000 people throughout their life and the most successful coping mechanism for like living a healthy life. Number one was like humor. Number two was suppression. Mm-hmm. So like pushing down your emotions. Like is actually better for your life. Yeah, it kind of blew me. Away. I felt like very called out. You by don't want to be like a like you mine your trauma because mm-hmm. what? Ha- okay, and then you die, 
and we don't know what happens then. Mm -hmm. What's the point of mining? The, what for? Like the ne afterlife? You get up there and God's like, "Did you figure yourself out?" Yeah, mm -hmm. you're like, "I figured it out." It turns out my parents screwed me up. Yeah, he's like, "Wow, that's." I'm glad you spent nine thousand dollars in therapy, a year figuring that out. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, it's just about getting through the day, being mm -hmm. happy. That's all it is. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Not gonna think about too much. Once you cut all the horseshoe, you can be one of those happy old people who's just like, I just I go down to the diner every day and I eat an ice cube. <laughs> I talk to Betsy the waitress, I eat an ice cube, and then I walk home and then I just fall asleep mm -hmm. until the next day. And those are like the only happy, content, satisfied people yeah. in this yeah. world. You know how many people in this country consider themselves spiritual, and when they say that, it means that occasionally at the end of a long day, they'll like loudly sigh. <laughs> <laughs> and just like hold their steering wheel and look up and go <sighs> right I guess I'm spiritual it's like just yeah I'm spiritual I'm spiritual sometimes when I'm hanging out with friends I'll go <clears throat> I needed this <laughs> I'm spiritual I'm spiritual I'm centered I'm getting mm -hmm. centered no you like uh, uh, you like acai bowls full of coconut mm. shavings and fucking dark chocolate mm -hmm. and you're fucking you're pudding yeah life is you're just all everybody's doing their own like create a character mm -hmm. you know and you like, do yoga because you get like sexual fantasies there everyone's got tight clothes on they're all yeah. sweaty and hot shut mm -hmm. up yeah you do downward dog you see the outline of some girl's pussy lips exactly. from behind you're not you're trying like, to work on muscles so you could feel your back can finally get better no you want to fuck everybody <laughs> mm -hmm. it all goes down to the most retarded needs yeah I mean, most, I think most guys' life decisions do come down to who you're trying to fuck. That's mm -hmm. it. Like, mm -hmm. the yoga guy is like, yeah, I'll dress like Edward Sharp so I can fuck these, like, heroin addict looking women in handkerchiefs. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, like, a punk rock guy like is a like, a woman wearing a Kleenex. Right. Yeah. A punk rock guy is like, I'll get into communism so I can fuck this girl who smells like aftershave. Yep. You know? I think when I was, like, 20, there was, I, I wanted to fuck this girl that worked at a diner, and I kept going because I thought I was, like, in a fucking, like, novel. Mm -hmm. I thought I was, like, a character in my own movie. And I kept going there, and I would drink coffee every day all morning like tons of refills just to keep talking to her and i never got her by the way it was yeah. worthless <laughs> but i gave myself like adrenal problems because i had no clue coffee dehydrated you <laughs> i was just in this world of trying to like i wanted to fuck her so i was like poisoning myself i remember i had to go to the doctor like you have to drink water <laughs> how far did you get with her did you figure out where she lives we like texted said some wait, stuff wait, and then is I that just, the first step? i ruined it yeah was, you go where do you what's your address where do you live that's your first you know, base here's why I, I backed out she had a down syndrome kid and she was like can i bring my kid and i was like yeah i don't know i'm yeah. too young for wait, this wait, you you say i'm gonna hit on you and then be like by the way i have a uh, okay when we started texting i was like i said i think i said something like we can meet i always like wanted to meet at parks because i was poor mm -hmm. i we just do laps like i'll tire them out we'll get some tacos for like a dollar it's then, like half big yeah and uh and then at one point she was like, well, can I bring my kid? And I was like, I, presented, I was like AJ Soprano. I'm like, I love kids. <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, he's got, he's a little, you know, he's a little fucked Here's up. Here's what you do. You know what she's, tell, when she tells you she has a kid with Down syndrome, mm. you do this, you go. Wrong. <laughs> 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 uh, try again. Wrong. <laughs> go survey says. <laughs> 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 She's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll drown my kid in the bathtub so I can go and fuck you. Yeah. I, I would do that all the time on dating apps where you're like talking to a lady uh -huh. and like you jump over to tax and it's like going well. And then she's like, you're like, so what do you do? Like, how long have you been in the city? She's like, well, you know, I was with my ex and now me and my son are, and then you're like, blocked, deleted, <laughs> blocked on the app, blocked on my Instagram. Your thumb goes through your yes. phone. Yes. You block her so I, hard. I block her so fast, the air moving out of the way of my thumb heats up to the surface of the sun. Yeah, you burn yourself. My, yeah, it's like a sound wave and it melts so my phone. So you can avatar the last airbender, like control the screen yeah. of your phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, did this guy just die and all of his information got deleted like men in black? Like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The amount of women where I'm like, you put that shitty kid on the front page of your dating Dude, profile. Dude, you gotta be a weird fucked up narcissist for that to be your fantasy of like, I'm, gonna, a mom? I'm gonna meet a single lady with a kid and I'm gonna save him. Oh, it's crazy. Because yeah. I'm fucking, I'm a messiah. Yeah. I'm Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm the Buddha. Yeah. Those people yeah. that think they want to save like a waitress, like, like they're John Fonte or some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just knew I, I'm like, if you want to, like, if you fall in love with the mom or whatever, good for you. I mean, you know, that kind of sucks, but good for you. I just knew I'd be the type of guy, even if I fell in love with her, I'd be hanging out 
And I, I just look at the kid and be like, I can't believe you let somebody come in you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Some guy. Slap I see. Yeah, I slap yeah. the kid. I'm like, you're my, you're yeah. my fucking competition's come. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Like jealous of the kid. You're like, can't believe this kid was in your pussy before me. <laughs> yeah, just uh, insane yeah. jealousy issues. I'm like, there's a, there's some guy out there, <laughs> fucking came in you and then got killed in Iraq. Mm-hmm. Now I'm raising his stupid fucking kid. Well, that's what. Like I'm one, I'm one of those birds where the bird gets pushed out yeah. of the nest. And then I'm such an idiot. Yeah, I raise just it. upset. Like I can't yeah. believe you let some Volcom hat fuck you. <laughs> That's what's so great about like Blue Valentine is very accurate. Uh-huh. Where like and then it fast forwards Good movie, and, like yeah. their their lives are horrible. Yeah, he's balding. He's smoking cigarettes. He's wandering in a field in the beginning. Yeah, mm-hmm. isn't he like wandering between like in a junkyard or something? Like, he's like a bullshit forward. artist in the movie. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. His glasses are fucking cool. Those transition lenses are sick. Right. Sure, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But there are. I mean, but his life's over. That is yeah. real yeah. life. Like you, you could be like on a first date. Like and if it's like the person you're gonna marry, you could just like. Just snap your fingers and it's 20. You guys are like screaming at each other in the kitchen, like hitting each other with like pasta and yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. That, that was that was a pretty damn good movie, but with in terms of the the showing the relationships and shit. And then cutting back to him like as a mover in Brooklyn. You and, and then, me. You and me. It was a little gay and hipster. Yeah. And they're like, they're just being like, they're having lollipops. It was a little like Brooklyn. typewritery. Yeah, yeah, yeah you sure, know? sure. Yeah. But it was still I good. do love that they made like Ryan Gosling like age like a loan shark for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Like he's like a comb over and like gambling addict mm-hmm. glasses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just, just fat here. Just fat here. Just comes out. Just beer, beer like, fat. Yeah. Because he's always drinking a beer. Just looking like he's going to be going around like, I, I, I just need about 50 bucks on the Rutgers game and I'll be fine. <laughs> I got the Ruggers. Ruggers versus St. John's. I'll be fine. Beating up pay phones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we're at the end here. What? Oh, no. We're at an hour. Oh, my God. My bad. Look at you. I was about to say patreon.com slash yeah. lemon party. But I could just say it now, actually. And then say we can talk it. About- yeah. We well, can say it every five minutes. And can I, prom- <laughs> can I promote, too? Because we've been getting more people in the live streams. Every yeah. Wednesday, 4 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. God, I'm retarded. No, mm-hmm. it's okay. You're busy that, reading. That is the benefit, because I feel like I am happier than both of you, and it's because I'm <laughs> I'm kind of retarded. So I'm like, I can't relate a lot of times when you guys say you're not happy. I don't know, man. Because I think I'm so dumb, I don't even know how miserable I am half the time, where I think I'm having a great day, and I don't even know that I live in hell. No, you you you're pretty sad sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You get pretty, but you get you get sad. You get sad like how a dad gets sad, mm. where you don't realize you're sad until three years later. <laughs> you're like, and you're just like you're you know in your head you're like, why am I cutting the grass in the rain? Huh? <laughs> it's like oh, I'm, I was going through a horrific depression at the time. If I'm completely distracting myself throughout the day, I can have. Uh, burst of joy throughout though mm-hmm. so I feel like I'm happy if I'm just focused on a project right. and just doing that for eight to nine hours and then kind of right. chipping in the backyard walk around the pool walking the dog but you have like you have like had periods of your life that are tough and you're like you're like you're like I'm doing fine and they're like oh by the way I've been working on some drawings and then you show me and it's like you like getting your head blown off <laughs> yeah for like a shotgun and I'm like is this a metaphor <laughs> for how you're feeling he goes I feel great brother <laughs> brother man that's what i know now that i can never trust how i think i feel so Mm -hmm. i just don't because sometimes i want to be like i'm fucking happy i don't know what's wrong with you guys Mm -hmm. but then i know i might look back five years later i'm like i don't know how i didn't kill myself yeah yeah but i feel happy now but no you're in a better place jason and i think from the hours of like from three to seven we're just like what is this (laughs) what do we do i like find myself wandering around grocery stores a lot yeah 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 yeah. Sometimes you know? I feel weird and I have to go on walks and I'm just like I have to uh, figure out how to stop feeling weird. I stopped walking. The pandemic ruined walking for me. Really? It, it was all I had. So anytime I take a walk, now I just re- it reminds me of that of period the of time. Yeah. Every day I took like an insanely long walk. Yeah. And then I was just like, and now when I try and do it, I'm like, that's just it just makes yeah. me shudder. Get an assault bike. Go on, Jace. <laughs> I'm at the gym, pal. Yeah, he's on. Okay, he's yeah, on the stairmaster again. Devin's getting a natural BBL. I right have now. a great ass. You're freeloading though. You're yeah, freeloading. I use the gym. Yeah, you, yeah, you're using someone else's gym membership, mm-hmm. and it's bullshit. And I'm a pig because they they were shooting a movie there the other day. This is also, by the way, I'm not wrong here. 
I was very proud of myself. I wanted to tell you guys this. Oh, yeah. There was, you know, when they shoot movies, they just have this entitled attitude. Like, the whole neighborhood's there. They own it. They now. own it and shit. Yeah. So I was looking for a spot. I always have to look for a spot for a long time. It's in the arts district. It's really difficult. And I finally, I saw a van that's about to leave. And then there's this lady standing next to it. But I'm like, well, she's not associated with the car. I pull up in front to parallel park in. The van leaves, and the lady standing there next to the van. I look back and she goes, you trying to park here like mouth it? And I go, I thumbs up. I go, yeah. And she goes, no, nah. she does the <laughs> nah thing. And I go, uh-huh. <laughs> I just thumbs her back up and then I back right into her. Hate parking in the arts district, by the way. Yeah. Nightmare. Bullshit. Nightmare. But I back right into her and the whole time she's like moving back with my car and she's like, stop, <laughs> stop doing this. Mm. And I back in. Is she some bullshit PA with a, yes, a piece in her Yes, one of those. Ear? I knew what she was doing. Yeah, yeah. She was waiting Been for some there, big sprinter that. van to pull up mm-hmm. so they could go make some awful thing that nobody watches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then she, I... I, I <laughs> <laughs> but it's starring Abu Boo Abu Boo Boo. Don't worry. Yeah, it, yeah it's starring Duke Ding Dango. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's starring Adam Scott and uh, Indian actor Adam and OP. <laughs> uh, and so, and then she kind of kept standing around my car, like trying to like pressure mm-hmm. me. I want to know what I did. I was really proud of myself. What? I went to our latest episode and I blasted <laughs> Lemon Party in mm-hmm. the car. And I just sat there looking at my phone and I can't just look up at her. And she was just like, what the fuck? And then she went over to a bunch of other fucking slaves that don't know that they're fucking, you know, being used. Being used, being completely. Used. Yeah. And she was like talking about me and shit and everything. Good. I've seen her the last three days and I yeah. just stand just right next to her and I just look right at her. You're, I love it. When I hear that, I want to know the cross streets. I want to go do it tonight. Mm-hmm. And I want to do it night after do it night right after now. night I until they're done with filming. Want to know what I did today? They put all these cones in these spots that are usually spots. I drove up, opened my car door, threw the cones <laughs> in the street. Parked right there because they don't have permits. It's bullshit. Mm-hmm. They're doing the bullshit. They're writing thing. Yeah, on yeah. pieces of paper. This is your production. They put it on their front. I'm like, yeah, that's official. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Wonder, they're probably filming another season of Bosch. <laughs> Everyone's always filming Bosch in this city. The whole city is Bosch. It's nonstop Bosch. <laughs> Bosch owns the city. Bo- Devin. <laughs> <laughs> it's overrun with Bosch. Right. You're like, sorry, I was late for work. It was Bosch again. <laughs> Bosch got me. God damn it. <laughs> They're on season 40 of Bosch. Uh, no one's ever watched this last show. Last Bosch list. You're doing, you're doing, um, what I love is you're like doing the like weaponized like Asian thing like in my neighborhood where people just pretend they like don't, uh, yeah. they can't communicate whatsoever. That's what I do. So they can just plow through people. Yep. I go to Aldi uh, when I grocery shop. You got to get there at nine because it's, it's very cheap, but they just run out of food at like 10. Mm-hmm. They're just like, fuck it. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's so cheap. I got like 10 chicken thighs for like $4. Jesus but it, dude, dude, it's like the rock. They're like marshmallows. Yeah, dude, it's like yeah, it's made out of couch cushion. <laughs> it is, it is the Ross dress for less of food. I yeah. swear to God. Yeah, like, it's all laying mixed dude, together. Dude, like I swear to God, the workers get there at eight and they open the back doors and then they just, just they throw uh, shit. <laughs> there's bacon on coat hangers. Yeah, just people <laughs> slang. They just throw like they push a pallet of Coke Zeros over and it splatters everywhere. And so. <laughs> It, o- it opens at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you got to get there right at 9. And I get there, and it's always me and 40, just the most Asian people you've ever... Like, 40, oh yeah. like 50-year-old Asian dads run their own, you know, like, carpeting business. Khakis to the tits. Khakis to the tits. Stakes. So focused on their mission, you like, you're like, do you even have a brain anymore? Or are you like an automaton? <laughs> they, are, they are crowded the door. Like, like they're, they're powered by an a- RC controller somewhere. Yes, exactly. Some yeah. eight-year-old's playing Like, him. they're carrying a big leaf back to an ant colony somewhere that's the vibe they're giving off and they, and they listen listen i love the asians i live in the neighborhood but, but you literally it's 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 like 8 59 it, it, this week i was there it got to 901 and they hadn't unlocked the automatic doors and you could see like like asian people like starting to bump into the doors <laughs> Like, crowd- like Sims characters. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a fire outside and they have to get inside or something. <laughs> and you saw the guy, like the Mexican guy who manager, who, he pulls his key out and as he's like getting, like they're, it's like Emma getting let out. Like they're getting like all happy. Mm-hmm. And then he unlocks the door and he, he, he unlocks the door and he like runs away from the door. And they sprint in. I'm just going because I, I, I just get the meat there. I get the couch cushion meat. Mm-hmm. I sprint for the meat section. Uh, along with all these Asian people, and I'm like, I'm literally, literally, I'm comparing like turkey and like you know carne asada and stuff, mm-hmm. 
like Asian women are like getting under like in between my arms mm-hmm. to like grab a like a cheap mm-hmm. piece of meat that they saw. Yep. And you're like, I'm like, I have to like hip check like an 80 year old Asian. Oh no, woman you got to right throw now. bows. You do have to throw it's bows. It's like going a to the bit. Armenians, uh, the Armenian grocery stores too. Oh. It's just all these like hundred year old Armenian ladies that are like, they, they're like, are you a Turk? Right. <laughs> a, a woman that looks like a sphinx. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just putting a put, <laughs> putting a putting a curse on you because you took the last like rice aroni. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. No, it was true. I was I was not like I didn't fucking. You know, shoulder check an Asian woman, but I did kind of push an Asian woman out of the way with my body mm-hmm. to like get like a pork tenderloin and throw it yeah, in my you basket. Got, you yeah. got to rough rough house them a little mm-hmm. bit. You got yeah. There's you been times I've been they walk- respect it. Mm-hmm. They, they, they do, do respect yeah, they, they it. Respect they know what it. I'm doing. Yeah. There's kind of like I feel like they're like we know the massive white guy and we we respect him for yeah, being oh, one of us. Oh, that's a pushback. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I respect it. Oh, respect it. This man is very racist, and I like that. <laughs> this man call us ant on podcast. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, and it's great. Yeah, there's been times that all the like, you know, walking down, like you see somebody like pushing a shopping cart at you. You're like, I have to get out of the way because they'll hit me in the ankle. Mm-hmm. They'll just snap my foot. How do we know they like following black people around stores? Huh? How do we know that? Because like they just love walking. We l- asked black people about it, and they're <laughs> yeah, like, "Yeah, what? every the yeah. nine been the nineties. Yeah, <laughs> you never saw a Chris Tucker movie. Come on, we need a. Wor- I'm but, gonna I'm gonna tape into a a, a chair, and we're gonna make him watch Boondocks until he gets it. No, yeah, <laughs> not gonna do it. No, <laughs> we're gonna start. The only ben. Boondocks I watch is Boondock Saints. <laughs> Shame to your mother. <laughs> We're going to start Ben on an Uncle Ruckus Mm-mm. best of compilation. Did you ever see Menace to Society? Uh, I saw Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the Phantom Menace. Menace to Society. It's about two young black kids with a great future ahead of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they turn into serial killers because an Asian, Are you serious? an Asian liquor store owner fucked with them. No, I'm kidding. Oh, but, but, oh, that sounds great. But they follow him and they accuse him of stealing and then he kills both of them and then he just kills everybody the rest of the movie. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Oh, duh. But here's the thing. Asian people love walking. How do we really know they're following black people around their stores? Because they're, they're always because they're, getting they're, exercise. Because they're four inches away from their back. <laughs> yes. They're looking at black people shopping with like magnifying glasses. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking Asian store, Asian stoners are following black people around. They have With like a, a telescope, cu- like a cutlass, yeah, that they like extend and yep. they like look at his pockets and shit. Uh, yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Uh, They'll jump in uh, your cart. Yeah. Dude, I want to. Learn- Asian store owners have like the taxi driver like gun that extends down their mm-hmm. fucking forearm. I want to learn like Mandarin or Korean or something just so I can be like, I, I want to walk into one of those stores and be like, all right. Li- Tell me right now, what do you guys actually think about George Floyd? Mm-hmm. You, guy who only speaks Chinese, tell I want to hear what, what they, they go, have they to go, say. They go, fuck Jay-Z. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. You never see those guys weigh in. They never they never cut to a, a local business owner that's a Chinese guy to weigh in about, like, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Because so. he's, he's busy assembling his rifle on his roof. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Exactly. Like, yeah. like a, that fucking Mark Wahlberg movie. Yeah, yeah. That guy's, that guy's in, like, in, yeah, it's... the fucking American sniper. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, like he's fucking... They're like fucking Chris Kyle. Have you ever, dude? Have you ever seen yeah. the footage of like of the, the fucking Watts riots? of the Watts riots, where there's like Korean guys with Arnold Schwarzenegger haircuts, just like firing guns yeah. down down Koreatown roads? on the roof of their liquor store and shit. Yeah, yeah, it looks like that black and white movie from Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, where yeah. The snipers, dude. I look, there's one the, clip uh, of like an Asian guy, flat top cut, big glasses, and he's smoking a cig, and he's walking across like Fairfax, and he's just firing a gun, mm-hmm. like down fucking Fairfax. God, and it wasn't badass. it wasn't revenge for Reginald Denny. No, it was, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was like I got to protect my honey bun supply. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking ruthless. Well, all those guys, they. We're all like uh, had to serve in the Korean military, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you have to serve if you're right. from Korea. So all those yeah. guys have like extensive like military experience. Mm-hmm. So that's why they were on like rooftops and shit. Like uh, yeah, with like elephant guns. Yeah, <laughs> is that so? Because of the BLM? No, no, no. This was BL- Watts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this yeah, was yeah. like the Rodney King. Right. Yeah, this was right. after Rodney King. Yeah. This is yeah. BLM one. Yeah, sure. Pretty much with less real estate. Right. Yeah, this I is think before te- I they think were technically the Omaha race riot was BLM one. Yeah, but sure. I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. 
<laughs> this is before they were sponsored by Sotheby's. Yeah. <laughs> Sotheby's. Sotheby's. <laughs> Sotheby's. Whatever. That's what they call it in the black community. <laughs> Sotheby's. Yeah. That does sound like an outcast song. Mm-hmm. It's Spodiote Delicious, then Sotheby's. <laughs> Sotheby's. Wow, it's Spodiote Delicious. I, I listened. I like black stuff. I love Big Boy. I love Andre 3000. What are they I called, though? I listen to Rick Rubin's podcast. What are they called when okay. they're together? Huh? If you you just bar- said them separately. Outcast. What? Okay, there you go. With a K. <laughs> hey. Hey. Atelians. One K. That's a guess. Atelians. Atlians. Yeah. Oh, as I say. What do you think it means? Atlanta. Well, it's like Atlanta, but go. they're. Okay, yeah. It's mm-hmm. about like having gay sex in Atlanta, right? Because it's like it's in Atlanta. Uh, Patreon.com <laughs> slash lemon party. The live Maybe streams we can do are every bit. week on Wednesday. Maybe we do a bit about outcast having gay sex in Atlanta before we close. Okay, because he's a big boy. <laughs> He's the original big boy. Holy yeah. shit. Andre 3000 is his T-cell count. <laughs> there you go. There you, there go. you go. We did it. Woo! Yep. Yep. Woo! We always do it. We always, they always, every week they tune in, they go, are they going to pull it off? Are they going to do it? Every it's like week, a great heist. Every week they go, yep. these boys can't be racist. Yep. And we show them. Big L, which of course, big lupus. <laughs> there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big cum. <laughs> there you go. Big cum, yeah. Yep. Yeah, like big pun, you know? Yeah, that's yep. good. Big cum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instead of lean back, it's lean forward. Yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw that from Devin this week. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that was a Devin joke from earlier. Every week. I don't remember that. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, of course, buddy. Every Appreciate week it. we're, we're sl- slaloming, not to use a big word around you guys, but we're slaloming down the, it's what skiers do. I don't think that's how that's, you pronounce it. That's not it. how you pronounce it. Yeah. I used to, uh, yeah, on the, the dune things. I used to be, yeah, it's not. I want to say that Salome, sounds like a but Jew right. skiing. Yeah. Mm. We're shaloming. <laughs> we're sh- well, you want to shalom you down the, the shalom? Schleps? Hold on, let me. Uh... We're going down the. We're going to the cat stills. We're going to shalom down the mountain. Here we go. Here he is the... on the right track though. Slalom. Slaloming. Slaloming. So you would say slaloming? Yeah. Slal- when you day, you have to like do the thing. Slaloming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the way I said it more. Shaloming. Slaloming. Well, yeah. I mean, it's wrong, but it's okay. Damn it. Now, I sound, now people are going to think I'm fucking retarded. Well, I got good news for you. <laughs> now people, they're going to think it. <laughs> Me and Jace, by the way, both of us, for some reason, because of where we grew up, we pronounce words wrong all the time. Yeah. Completely wrong. Like all. Like way off. Can I go get an all change? All. All. We just, but we also mispronounce like bigger words too because we never heard people saying them grow, growing up. So I still we can't, just kind of put I can't stuff make together. a double T sound. I still say like I need a bud in my shirt. Button. Button. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, we like sound, Joe Button. Like we do sound kind of retarded. It's kind of cool, though. I've always liked people that just have no respect for language. It's amazing I can talk at all because where we grew up, people say, I ain't got no, yeah. I ain't got no nothing yeah. on my plate. Because mm-hmm. of our accent, we can't use a soft A. That's an affectation. Yeah, so we have to do two. So I say, like, uh, so you guys do the ER? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't even say titty. I say titty. 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 You always say titty. Titty. Yeah. yeah. Titty with two titties. I like that. That's funny. Titty. That's funny. I yeah, like she that. She got some nice titties. She that got... does sound like you're about to kill whoever you're talking about. Titty. Yeah. She got some nice titties. Yeah. Like it, also Ed sounds, Kemper. it also sounds like yeah. you're talking about someone underage. Mm-hmm. Look at her titty. Look at her a cup titty. Her titty <laughs> just came in. Your titty meat. Her titty yeah. meat. Yeah, that's the, That's how you would say it. Titty uh, meat. I love your your supple titty meat. Yeah. Even You're, when talking about like you know women's parts, it has to be food oriented. Yeah. You're describing a woman like you're a butcher. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that fat back. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. The flank on that. <laughs> <bro. laughs> <laughs> T-bone pussy. Uh, mm, she got some good chops. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we were essentially raised by like Ed Gein, so the byproduct of that is I think it was Gein or Gein, whatever. Yeah, See, that's what I'm saying. Did it again. But yeah. this is why I say slaloming instead of a uh, slaloming. Sure. You know, it's that's fine. okay. But either way, we're slaloming past slurs. Yeah. We're slalom every week. The boys, the Lemon Party boys, they get on the mountain and they're, we're slaloming past slurs, left and right, and going up and down and all around. Yeah. And we never say one thing wrong. Mm. We're never wrong about anything. We have all the good opinions. And then you turn it off and you're just the guy hitting every flag on his way <laughs> yeah. down the mountain. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, real offensive slurs aren't really that funny anymore. What it's funny to like obscure slurs. Yeah. Like I've dropped yeah. I dropped Diner Monkey about Greeks a That's few a weeks great ago. One, and yeah. I love that. I'm always waiting for my chance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Love that one. Yeah. Certain other ones. Yeah, it's weird old antiquated ones besides the ones we already are mm. knowing or thinking about. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Our parents were visiting. But, my dad said chiggers, and I go, "Whoa, that got a that got a big pop." Yeah, chigger, dude. Oh yeah, thighs. you can't say that. There was an Indian kid when I was in, in middle school named Jigger. Oof. And I Woo! I got sent to the principal's office because when they were doing roll call one time, the teacher was like Jigger, and I, I stood up and I go, "Don't you call him that?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his first name was Sand. <laughs> All right, Ben. P- please end this yeah, before we this get canceled. Oh, this my God. Th- daughter, Sandy Jigger. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> like I said, yep. we're slaloming past yes. the slurs. Yes. I don't want to be stealing from Anthony Cumia. You're That's his juking. territory. You're juking. I'm slaloming. Yeah. yeah. You're like the white Michael Vick. Just putting on the goggles and just Slay. slaloming. Mm-hmm. God. It still sounds wrong, slaloming. Yeah, because it's not. That's so not, not the right. You're not right. saying it right. Slaloming. God, you really you look like a racist Patch Adams <laughs> in this fucking in this shirt. My gummy bear shirt. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do you say it? Slaloming. Salt. Salt. I don't know. You're fucking my brain up now, dude. I don't know, dude. This is why I want to become Jewish because I know how to pronounce all their stuff because it's like <laughs> you sound like your Uncle Ben in Spider Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are you, are you acidic now, Uncle no, Ben? Is no. everything okay? This is my daughter, Flem. <laughs> Uncle uh, Ben Nanyahu. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I don't know how to end this uh, this specific podcast. Me neither. This is an interesting one. Well, Let's I'll watch say this. the police chase. Patreon.com slash lemon party. You get all the Patreon episodes there, and you got to watch the live streams too. We put the live streams on there. Yeah. And- there's great stuff on there. Check it out. And uh, thank you guys. Much love to you. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.